When I was a kid, I struggled every day to be normal just like everyone else. I didn't know what was wrong. I just couldn't read things like everyone else could. I would get headaches almost every time I would try and concentrate on something and had glasses ever since I was two, but that wasn't enough. I was always the slowest reader, the one who got picked on for mixing up the words every time I got called on to read a page in class. I would always ask my mom, why did they pick on me? I read normal just like they do, don't I? My mom would always reassure me that I read just like all the other kids in my class, but how would she really know? She was never there. My teachers started noticing that something was wrong, that I wasn't reading words, word for word, from left to right. I was always holding my head with it down on my desk like I was taking a nap. My teacher, Mrs. Wright, said something to my mom within the next week of her noticing the issue. So my mom made me a doctor's appointment to see a specialized doctor in mommy, Dr. Cable. Dr. Cable was the only doctor in the area at the time who was able to diagnose people with these type of dysfunctions and had the most updated vision technology in the area. I went to my doctor's appointment scared because I didn't know what was going to happen, but I knew something was definitely wrong. When Dr. Cable came into the room after examining all the tests he ran, he diagnosed me with binocular dysfunction. Binocular dysfunction is when both eyes aim at the same visual target instead of working together as a coordinated team. I felt a relief that we finally found out what was wrong with me after so long. But at the same time, I was upset because now I would start a long journey of vision therapy. Vision therapy consists in me of driving out to mommy every day after school for an hour to do the same thing over and over again. I would sit with a therapist and we would do these long workshops together. We would practice flashcards and I would read from left to right very slowly until I would get every sentence perfect. Bob Evans was much like me. We were both students at The Ohio State University and both had chronic migraine headaches that caused us many upsets in our educational career. Bob Evans and I both have been wearing glasses since we were little kids. When I touched his glasses, I felt like I did when I was a little kid. They were large, thick lenses, and they had a very strong prescription. When Bob was enrolled at OSU, he wanted to be a vet. He attended The Ohio State University College of Veterinary School from 1937 to 1939, but only completed two years of school because of his chronic migraine headaches. These chronic migraines caused Bob to wear glasses for the rest of his life to keep his vision intact. Bob's headaches did not put an end to his career path after he had to leave The Ohio State University. Bob went on and took over a family-owned farm, started making his own foods, and opened up thousands of restaurants around the United States to what we know of as Bob Evans. Evans was not a person who would let his headaches stand in the way of his career path, and many people, like myself, look up to Bob in many ways. Bob has suffered so many times throughout his life internally, trying to go through an entire day without letting his headaches get to him. He has shown the entire world that you can overcome the barriers that try and bring you down. When I graduated from vision therapy, I was a sophomore in high school. I didn't struggle then as much as I did when I was a kid. I soon began to apply to colleges and then started my career at The Ohio State University. I am currently a sophomore studying criminology and criminal justice, trying to pursue my dream of becoming a lawyer. And much like Bob, I'm going to overcome all the challenges throughout my journey.